three GPE W six LG over to N eight uh, DXE and does. Uh, did you get that directly from Ray? Go ahead. <laughs> no, <laughs> W six LG from N eight DXE. Um, we actually, uh, this is the uh, DX Engineering Employees Club Station, and so uh, we just uh, got uh, our first shipment of these radios yesterday, and we were so busy uh, sending them out all over the all over the country that uh, we didn't get a chance to light one up here until this morning. So uh, that's. Uh, this is part of that uh, first uh, big shipment we got here, Jim. Go ahead. Yeah, good. Well, it, if it's anything like the 7300, God, it's got ubiquitous, I guess. Uh, if you recall the 706 Mark II, all the uh, variations of that, they must have sold uh, 100,000 of those things. I think the 7300 is probably getting there, too, uh, literally all over the world. That sounds good. A uh, little on the low side in, in frequency response, but it's good conversational. Uh, I, I don't hear any distortion, nothing in the background. Audio quality is excellent. So I, I'm, I can touch the screen on my uh, K3s, but it doesn't do anything. So, what, <laughs> so I'm at a loss. Go ahead. <laughs> well, the K3 is a very nice radio, and of course made uh, in the great state of California, but uh, this this is really something else. I, um, you know, you never know what to expect. You, you hear all the, uh, all the marketing hype, and this thing uh, just looks like it's living up to all that, Jim. And uh, just tuning around here for a few minutes on 20 meters and getting, um, you know, used to the filtering, and uh, but so many things are adjustable just by, you know, hitting the screen on, on how you switch between VFOs and and uh, being able to blow up the spectrum uh, area so you can do a closer analysis. Just lots of good things, so uh, really looking forward to it. And, you know, the 7300, you're right, it, it was a game changer because uh, it, it too is an SDR, just like the 7610, and uh, guys have been uh, clamoring for this. So Christmas came a little early here uh, in Talmadge, Ohio. W6LG from N8DXE. N8DXE, W6LG. Uh, your transmit band, uh, band width is at uh, uh, more than three. Sounds like about four. Go ahead. Huh. That's interesting because um, it shows 2.9 here, but it may have some something to do with uh, some of the settings that are just out of the box. So we, we will check that, Jim. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not complaining. I just turned on the uh, the pad adapter to take a look. It sounds really good. It really does. Uh, what mic have you paired with that? This is the uh, the Heil. I think it's the 781. Um, so it's uh, one of the fancy Heil. Yeah. From Dr. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, well, I know Bob and Sherry used to be on the other side of the wall from them at Dayton. And uh, that sounds excellent. Good. I, I, uh, I love this new stuff. When you and I started at this, uh, we never dreamed we'd have boxes in front of us to do the kinds of things the 7300 does, let alone the uh, 7610. Well, you're absolutely uh, right about that, Jim. You know, being a high school kid and uh, just uh, lusting after a great C line or the uh, smoothness of uh, Collins S line, you know, that's that's we didn't think it would ever get any better than that, right? You know, I was licensed in uh, in '63 and the late '60s. Well, in high school, '67, '66, I guess. I worked in a radio store uh, selling ham radio equipment and, uh, in Burbank, California. Uh, and did, uh, did love the Drake stuff, which is why I bought a bunch of it later on in life. But like a lot of guys, you get your toys uh, when you can afford them, and it's not usually when you're, uh, when you're raising a family. Uh, back to how you sound, it sounds great. Uh, you are peaking 40 over. Is, uh, I assume there's a Yagi uh, out in the parking lot. You've got to point it towards California. Yep, sure do. Um... Uh, Jim, yeah, this is a Skyhawk uh, that we make uh, here at DX Engineering, so it, in, it is headed your way. And uh, we have a, a beautiful Roan 65 tower with a stack of Yaggies on it so that uh, customers can get on the air and employees and we can have fun uh, on lunch breaks and after work. And so it's a first class station here. And of course, uh, DX Engineering is inside 
Summit Racing Equipment. So we, we got the, the best of both hobbies, W6LG from N8DXE. N8DXE, W6LG. Yeah, sounds like a great place to work. Um, uh, are you hiring? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but uh, what a wonderful thing that is. Uh, are you running an amplifier? Because literally you're uh, 30, 40, yeah, sometimes well, 50 over. Yeah, yeah, we've got, uh, this is an ACOM 2000, but uh, we've got it ratcheted back. So it's not really going full full bang at you, but uh, yeah, the, this particular RF chain had the ACOM 2000 in it. Yeah, one of the best amplifiers in the world. Uh, built like a brick, you know what, uh, should last forever. Um, and it, it sure sounds like it. Um, boy, that is as clean as a whistle. I'm looking at the scope as best I can, and uh, everything looks really good. Well, considering the Acom 2000 following it. Uh, and the Skyhawk, I got a buddy in the Crimea. Crimea. I used to be UK5 MAF, uh, UI5LK, our 7 kilo Zulu is a new call, uh, Stan. Uh, he's got a Skyhawk, uh, and it's a marvelous antenna. Uh, it just works and works and works, and I'm uh, sometimes a dead band here yeah. on the West Coast. I've been able to uh, uh, meet him on Skype and then meet him on the air uh, a few times. I'm primarily a DXer, not much of a rank viewer, as you might be able to tell. Um, and I've got some pictures on QRZ.com. Do you have a computer handy? Uh, yeah, we, we have a uh, computer handy, so we'll take a look at uh, your QRZ page and uh, see what you're all about, Jim. NADXE, W6LG. Okay, Jim. Hey, it's been uh, great hanging out with you here this morning, and uh, if you make it uh, back down to Visalia this April, I'll be there. I've uh, been to so many of those uh, DX conventions, and I, I really... Uh, don't want to miss one. They're just uh, really well done. Both uh, the Northern Cal and the Southern Cal gang just uh, do a tremendous job. So you're very lucky to have uh, a fine convention uh, close to your QTH. And always like to get out and see our friends in the Bay Area. 73, Jim, thanks for all the uh, reports and uh, the QSO. I, this is uh, a little different for me as well. I'm, not much of a rag chewer, more of a contester, and of course, uh, just came off a big contest binge in the CQ Worldwide CW, so almost 8,000 contacts for K3LR Multi Multi. So there you go. Have a good holiday, and thanks for uh, letting the uh, frequency uh, occupy us, and uh, a WA3 uh, GPE, we'll look for him down the log as well. 73, W6LG. Yeah, See you down the log, Jim. N8DXE.